That wasn't smooth whatsoever. My chair needs to be repaired. What's up guys, it's your boy Atas Clover here and today I'm gonna to be making another diorama. I think you found out what diorama I'm going to be making from the thumbnail and the diorama I'm gonna be building is a jungle hunter predator diorama. So, two days ago I was off away from school and I went to a shopping mall right close like right next to the school where we go to buy some food and snacks for, for, for lectures before we get bored and we can't leave the lectures. I find this nifty fountain. It's a literal tree with stones that I could use for a diorama. You can see there, there's a tree, the stones, the tree needs some good green dry brushing and everything. And it's basically a fountain. So when I bought this, I had an idea. And this idea was, why not? Seriously, why not make it? Wait, let me focus. Why not make it into a predator dio using the jungle hunter on top? And I... I was taking pictures of this as as a test, and when I was taking a picture, when I used flash, this image came to my mind first thing. So in this video guys, I'm going to be starting the diorama for this figure and also the Dutch in disguise. That's why I didn't use this guy or this guy in the, the, the Predator display. So yeah guys, this is the start of my Predator Fountain Diorama. Um, you can see I have the Jungle Hunter top on that fountain that I showed you previously. I'm gonna have Dutch right down here. And I'm gonna have a tree that I will, buy, hopefully in the future, I will buy a um, NECA Predator accessory set. And I'll have the hanging body. I think this one should be right here. I think it would be a better pose or a better place for the Dutch center with a lot of foliage around him. And yeah. So all right, I wasn't gonna continue making this video because I was in the groove of the making everything. But then I realized when I uploaded the NECA Predator display video, I promised that I was gonna make a video about this dio. And yeah, if you wanna watch that video, click the link in the description. So here's where I'm at with the dio. Everything's covered, even the base, but right now the base has, if you're hearing that noise, that's the small fountain that I, I bought for this diorama. And what I'm gonna be doing with this tree is I'm going to be painting it brown and then later dry brushing it white so it has more detail. So yeah guys, I went to the store after painting that small tree. Yeah, I'm playing with the Elmer's glue because I was doing something and I did not close the tap. Let me show you what I actually did. So you know how aliens, some alien figures from NECA come with face huggers? Uh, I bought a torch, and it's too bright for you to focus on it, but let me just see what I can do. Now basically it's a face hugger inside of there. In real life you can see it perfectly, but the bottom is too bright for me to see it better. Um, or maybe I just have a very, very dark um, colored uh, face hugger. I have the Gorilla Alien face hugger. That's why I can't see it as much. I'm just gonna put it up there for the cleaning, well not cleaning, for dry time. And then just buy a Ultimate Xenomorph. Okay, enough for that. So I went to our quote unquote Dollar Tree and I bought these. These are decoration pieces. 
Amaray, I don't know what they call what it's called, but they say it's a spray, but it's not a spray, it's ferns to me. But I'm gonna be using these as decoration for the red dial. So first what I need to do is, well, one of them is gonna be torn apart, and all these little buds of kush, I mean buds of plants, will be uh, turned into bushes, but it's just simple, you just remove them from here. I'm actually doing it right in front of you guys. There's no boop, and another one, boop. And I could use these as decoration for the dio and chop up the branches so they're, so they're ground decoration. So yeah guys, here is a basic layout without the predator in it. Um, you can see right there, let me just unlock this. Let's see, Dutch ready for a battle. There's just some basic stuff around him, like a small tree, another small tree. And from those um, uh, trees that I bought from the dollar store, I built that small tree in the back. Let me just focus on that if I can manage. Nope, that's the wrong side. Yeah. Anyways, you get the point. That's the, the tree I built with using those um, branches that I bought out the Dollar Tree. And um, there's the man-made tree, my tree that I built. I need to give it some white dry brushing to make it have more detail and paint the base, um, paint the base brown, so yeah. So that is it guys for this video. I hope you liked it. And yeah, I know, I changed a bit of the setup. So um, before I was shooting on this, uh, on my speaker, yeah, I shoot on my speakers, I don't own a tripod. Um, I had the camera fix it, he fixed here. So it shines on, so it's bringing this all in, but Unfortunately, the way I, being that that camera was on the, the cameras on the speaker, I had to crouch down like this, and it was uncomfortable as shit to record. And another reason is I didn't have a clean space. Like literally, even in the time lapse, as you guys would see, that the background, the background of the video was mostly dirty because like I had a lot, I have a lot of junk in this room. Recently, like couple of days I've been here and I've been cleaning up everything like literally I've been working hard just to clean up this space and make it into an organized maker space um, I added some new shelving I sorted everything in those shelves out I cleaned up the couch the couch hasn't been this clean in like years well months let's just call it that because the couch has been here for a little while but it was always filled with junk and just everything's organized. Well, not 100% organized, but still it's better than it was a week ago. Let's just say that. So yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. Share this with your family and friends. And please, please subscribe for more content. See you guys.